Hey everyone, this is Ryzen. Welcome back to Let's Play Wild Arms 3. Well, I'm at the menu here because, uh, oddly enough, when Oscar shows up, or after that fight with Oscar, the opening changes, even though you're still in Chapter 2. Oh, and apparently I've only been playing for 6 hours and 40 minutes. Yeah, sure I have, game. Sure I have. That's why I have 30 parts now. Stupid inaccurate timer. Yeah, the time doesn't tick when you're in the menu. Or in battle. Or during a cutscene. So what the hell's the point of the timer in this game? You're never gonna know how accurate how how uh long you've actually been playing. So stupid. Whatever, I'm gonna show off the new opening. Okay, we're uh, here now, and uh, let's get on the horse here. There's a crevice there, but we're heading towards uh, Humphreys Peak, so let's cross this land bridge, and uh, it's right over here. around here. There it is. Yeah, Clive owns the whole town. You mean a blue roof like every other main character in this game has for their house? Yeah, everyone lives in a blue roof house for some reason. I don't know why. Whatever, if you go down here, there's a little bit of a side quest we can start. Somewhere down here. There he is. Yeah, it's a side quest. One of the side quests is literally to cover the entire map.
As silly as that is. Here's Reichman. I don't want to sell anything. Uh... Right. That's what I wanted to do. Sorry, I'll never get over uh, Gallows asking if uh, <laughs> Clive is a landowner. Because all landowners uh, become monster hunting snipers, right? What an idiot. Okay, so we've got uh, some upgrading that I want to do. And uh, basically, I want to get three critical upgrades for Clive. Because they're so cheap that you might as well. And a critical makes a good alternative to a uh, shot. And about three criticals is probably equivalent to one shot upgrade, so you might as well. For both Jet and Clive there. Uh, we'll be initializing them later. Oh. And uh, for Clive, I want to upgrade Shot as well. Whoa, that was, that was tight. That's okay. You should have it. If not, you can sell some gems. Uh, you can rest for free in this town, so don't worry about that. And uh, I'm spending all my money right now because I'm going to get a lot of money very quickly. And uh, you want to talk to this guy for an optional scene. I think this is an optional scene. Looks like he's fixing the memory figure there. And yeah, the hurricane's outside my window, so. I guess this is the first episode I've ever recorded in the middle of a hurricane. So if I lose power and like the game shuts off, I'll upload this as just a hilarious thing happening. But I don't think that'll happen. Oh yeah, these guys are from the Ark of Destiny. Uh, apparently they uh, work for some guy named Lamium. Oh. Guided by the voice of a saint. I'm sure we'll never have to go there. Nope. Never have to do that. Humphrey's Peak is basically going to be our, uh... Our, uh... Home base for a while. Why, yes, Father. I only tried to burn the house down three times this week. Aww. I don't know how she has blonde hair when her father has green hair, but... Okay. Is there something you want to tell us, Clive? No, no. Just kidding. Celery has no taste. She has more red hair, so where the hell does the blonde hair come from? Don't answer that. Excuse me, Clive, while I uh, hit on your wife. Clive, you gonna stand for that, dude? You, you just, you, just, you don't have a problem with that? Okay. 
Excuse me while I smile like a goofy person. <laughs> Excuse me while I, uh, sulk in my own misfortune. Okay, gotta do some research. Oh, no, no, of course, she can't possibly help with the research. I think I'll let that one slide. Just because this one has a female lead. Uh, that's a lot of books. <laughs> that's a funny attitude. Oh, man. Oh, yes. Uh, excuse me while I use something none of you seem to have. Rejuvenation, huh? Ah, so it's the World Tree Project. I mean the Yggdrasil Project. Yeah, of course. The book conveniently fails to mention the most important aspect. It's probably, uh... Hundreds of years ago, I would imagine. This is the whole demon war and all that. Hmm, party of seven. Okay, so I guess there were... There were always seven members, and they were constantly replaced. Seven. Hmm. There is something odd about that. Maybe Gallows knows. Yeah, we're the Council of Seven! Of course! What an idiot! Huh. No, no. Where could we possibly have seen that? Come on, game. It's not like it's the seven people in this photo. Of course! How convenient! One of those guys looks kind of familiar. Ten years ago, that's it? Hmm. Yeah, that's true. Huh. He does look familiar. I know who he is. Should be obvious. Yeah, it's Malik. Or Malik. Sorry, I prefer Malik. Malik always sounded weird to me. And yeah, Malik is probably the, tr the correct pronunciation. But I'm still gonna use Malik. This is weird. Yeah, how is he not aged? Strange. We'll learn more about that later. Whoa. What the hell is going on? He's cloning someone? Apparently he can't clone memory, so... Uh... 
you look. You seem like the most normal of the prophets. Now you're the creepiest. Hell, that makes Melody seem like the normal, the most normal. Yeah, not too good. <laughs> Maybe. Right. Wind squall outside my window. Hmm, true. Oh, a mineral full of vein full of gems. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna steal all the gems. No. Have you been paying attention yet? Oh, Clive didn't explain it yet. Sorry, Jet. I just jumped to conclusions that you weren't paying attention. Because you probably weren't. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you kind of weren't there yet. I always found that amusing. Oh, so there's a guardian shrine near here. So we have two places to go to. Although, in actuality, we have three. I'll explain that in a second. Wow. Let's actually develop the interaction between a man, his wife, and daughter? What a concept! Oh. Okay, so... Was the guy in that flashback her father? Hmm. Well, we'll find out more about that later. Wonder how he died. Hey, look, a teddy bear. Actually, let's examine this with Clive. I think Virginia just says, aw, it's so cute. Or something stupid. Let's talk to Caitlin. Okay, with Clive. My bad. This is the, uh, a, an adventure side quest. Oddly enough, Maravel makes a cameo appearance in the, in this. Basically, you go to the menu. I always use Clive for it, I don't think you have to. You select it, and then you read the book. And you read the story, and once you read them all, you don't actually have to read them, you can just read it once and then immediately end it and you just do that for all 11 or 12 or however many chapters there are I forget and uh, I forget off the top of my head and uh, you get an X file key for that I believe I'll, I might yeah I probably will at the end I'll do uh, a couple of bonus episodes where I'll read the, the story but, I want to do that all at once. The story isn't particularly long. Uh, maybe I'll do a bonus episode. No, no, I'll wait till the end, I guess. Uh, right, there's actually something else we can get in here. We can rob uh, Clive's own house. For a grab bag. Did we get one of these yet? I can't remember. It just gives you experience. Quite a bit early on, actually. 500. Uh, 
Oh no, let's keep using ga uh, gallows. Didn't realize I had one of those on me. It's about 20 minutes here, but real quick, uh, basically we have a side quest we can do right now. You know, I mean, we, I know we, I know we should be, you know, heading to the Guardian Shrine to save the Guardian from, you know, the prophets and all that, but why do that when we can do a side quest? So uh, next time we'll be doing that. Thanks for watching.